Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the Cursed Estate and we are ready to head out on another adventure. And this time I'm thinking of doing a medium mission veteran level 3 to the Alluring Siren, the next level of the Siren. We've been kind of ignoring the bosses as of late and there are plenty of them that uh, are worth going for. And with this one giving us a Thrall Trinket, of which I very much like the look of, uh, I thought it'd be a good idea. So what we've done here in terms of our build is we're going with uh, Guardian and Never up front uh, with our new Jacko Lantern for that extra um, stress healing received, slightly lower torch burn rate, and the scouting chance, which seems pretty nice. Uh, then we've got uh, Uriel here, who has the extra bleed amount, as well as the um, crits received debuff going on. Then we have Beatrice um, Arbor with just the extra healing, although I'm not sure how the extra healing actually works in this situation. I think it might only affect this skill, but either way, it's nice to have. Um, and then we have Aphrodite, our new class uh, in the back line, actually going with a hell of a lot of crit and damage. So as we can see here... She has plus 20% uh, damage, plus 6 crit, 8 dodge, 2 speed for plus 30 stress. And then we have another 15 and 7 accuracy there uh, with some food consumption. But we do have some interesting stuff here, whereas if we use, um, I believe it's this skill here... Um, yeah, so it depends how we build her, to be honest. What we could do is we could swap these two around, um, and that would leave her in a position where she can only heal, which is... Not ideal, but basically if we do this and have her just do the um, herbal infusion, then we could put her up here. We could change her skills a little bit, so we could go with... Uh, let's have a little look-see. So, we'll go with quick shot as a baseline. Then we can go with flank or gouge, which can be swapped between... Um, we can either do extra damage versus bleeding, which is obviously great, or uh, extra damage versus... Uh, Armour piercing versus mark, sorry. Uh, then we also have the volley here, which is quite good. Um, in fact, let's let's remove volley. Let's go with the spirited cry and stalk. And basically, this means we can do a few different things. Um, but we'll we'll give this a go and see exactly how this ends up working out for us. But I can think flank and gouge with the eight percent damage uh, while stealth and the ability to apply stealth uh, via this seems intriguing. Although, as I've just noticed, that won't work. Unless we're in position three. This is tricky. This isn't... Work, like, position-wise, this is not how I would have thought this would work. Okay, so... It's annoying. If flank worked from the back line, this would work so goddamn well. But it doesn't. Um, could we potentially swap... Uh, Uriel, where'd you go? Why, why does that happen? Uriel, where the hell are you? There you go. Right. Maybe we can go like this. Put you up front there. Put you there. That still doesn't help though, does it? I'd have to have you in the back line and that doesn't really work. We've got very few skills that work on the back line there. I want to use this because I want to be able to use the stealth. Maybe we'll sw swap out Guardian for someone else potentially. Because I, I really like the idea of these two working well together. So let's... Let's quickly remove Guardian's Trinkets for a hot second here and try a different class. Because that's what I had initially, and I'm not really thinking it's going to work too well with this setup now. So we'll get rid of Guardian as much as I love him and look for someone else that can do some good stuff from the back line. Um, preferably a level 3 that we haven't used in a little bit. I suppose we could bring out Dismas. Uh, that could be interesting. Um, Oliver. Uh, he does have the hiccups for slightly less accuracy. Uh, all of us more close range than long range. Delmar. Did get some interesting healing stuff with him recently, although he won't be able to use his stomp either. Isn't ideal. Isn't ideal. Alice, we could bring out. Alice is uh, decent at the back line. Um, although, again, not, not as good at the back line as I would have thought. She has precise shot, which does some good stuff, but otherwise... Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Um, who are we gonna bring then? This is this is rather tricky. We could bring Helen, I suppose, for the stun, but the blight isn't very useful, really. So maybe not. We could bring Orwell. Orwell's always a good a good catch to go with. Could bring Nyx. Although, 
I don't really see Nyx being all that valuable overall. Did we? Nah, I don't know. Nyx isn't really right for this. Who, who else should we bring? This is tricky. Surfy, maybe? We haven't brought out Surfy in a little while. The two ranged fellas in the back. Yeah, let's, let's, let's bring Surfy, shall we? And then Surfy, what trinkets do you want? You, ha you have pretty good damage, so we could just go with, um, like, a pretty big buff to our damage and, and try that out. Lots of minus stress on her here, which is pretty good. Yeah, I think I think we'll give that a, we'll give that a go, shall we? Um, just a bit of extra damage there. Try and use the aimed shot. Obviously, we're not gonna be marking very often, but um, I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm intrigued by this setup. I don't know how well it's gonna work. Um, are we able to hit the front line? Yes, we are. Okay, I think we're fine then. Um, quick shots all good. Right, let's let's move on in. A little bit of a switch up there, but I think we're good to go. This is only a medium mission to the curve, so we're going to need 20 food. We'll take 24. We'll take four shovels. Two of those. Three of those. Four of those. Two of those. Two of those. And that'll do us. And then torches will go with... 16, yeah, that'll do us. Okay, I think we're good to go here. Also, we need to be looting with Aphrodite because I believe she does have the extra looting thing attached to her. Let's go ahead and see how ex exactly how this is going to go because um, I'm, I'm intrigued. This is a pretty interesting set of people and it might not go quite the way we want, but I'm, I'm hopeful. In financial desperation, I struck a bargain with the ancient things that surfaced in search of sacrifice when the moon was right. Their price was the delivery of an obscure idol and one other item of more troubling portent. The Intriguing. Struck, my newfound accomplices slipped silently beneath the brackish water. A fearful stirring at the edge of the torchlight betrayed a familiar witness and gifted me with malign inspiration. Mm. Okay, so we do have a dire entry to get into. We, get, we haven't got a ton today. Uh, I think we've got four in total. Uh, but first of all, we have The Abundance of Fungus by Dr. Sanvis Junkie. Father Eric hums a hymn to himself as he stirs his pot, preparing a stew and stewing in the good energies of a good day. Church service all went well, and chapel is clean with the day's donations have been deposited into the church's vault. The only thing missing is a little one, who's expected back from an expedition to the wields any moment now, and hopefully with the specific mushrooms he'd been asked to gather. Just as Father begins to ponder the possibility of the fat air party's return being delayed, the door to his home swings open with a soft creak. The little one has returned, carrying with him a small basket of regular brown fungi, uncorrupted by the dark magics and soil, a perfect for a hearty stew. Ah, perfect timing, Eric exclaims, let, um, letting the joy and relief of his new friend's safe return slip through. These are exactly what I was looking for. You've got a good eye, my friend. As the father bends down to retrieve the basket, an unholy stench would hit his nose, nearly ruining his appetite. Ah, how about, um, while I prepare Dinny, you go and have a bath. You smell a bit like you've been rolling in corpses. Little one says nothing, staring, um, simply staring at his caretaker for a moment before trotting off to the back of the house to fill the bath basin with water and wash up in it. Intriguing. I like it. Right, let's see how this goes. I don't know how well prepared we are for this. We haven't done a boss in a little while. Uh, level 3 does mean we're going to start seeing some more um, malicious fur, which is, of course, scary and daunting. But I think this group is pretty well versed, to be honest. I think this group is pretty good. So we've got this here. We'll definitely go for the back line because we've got a stealth enemy there. Good amount of bleed. Um, and then we'll stealth you. And then we get 80% while stealth. We want to adapt. Because then that does extra damage while they're bleeding. Unfortunately, Flanking Gouge can't hit the back line. But we'll go for this. That's good. I didn't realize that moved us forward. That does make things slightly, slightly not as good as I was hoping. But still, it's not terrible. Do we have anything that moves us back on this character that we could change skills to? So we can do a back and forth sort of movement. Let's check that out once we've uh, got our next turn. Right. Um, back two. Okay. Um, 
We probably want to switch over to that after this fight. Because otherwise it's going to be slightly cumbersome to move everyone around every time. Yeah, I've got a plan with that. That's fine. Don't worry about it. That gets a kill on you. Nice and easy. Um, let's just heal ourselves for now. Yeah, unfortunately, our healing skill does not affect our amount of restoration applied. So, our healing here is fairly static at 9. But 9 is pretty good. I'm certainly not displeased with 9. There's some good damage coming in there. And more crits as well. Yeah, so what, what we're going to do here is... Um, well, first of all, we might as well just add a little heal on you. A crit heal, nevertheless. Now, one thing I'm curious about is... I've a, so a hey, very nice. I've adapted using um, using this skill adapt to move over to skill effect two. If I now remove this, does it stay in skill effect two or not? I'm not unsure. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try taking it off for now and see if it does, and we'll we'll just play around with it as and when. But yeah, I think this could be pretty interesting. I think this could be a pretty a pretty good build to work around. Got a lot of stealth in the background again. We do have some crew coming in here. They could be problematic, and that extra damage on there is never nice. So this time, we'll just go for this. Very good damage there. Seaward Slash coming in. That's okay. Tin. That could be bad. Tin is the thing that can give us a disease, so we got to be wary of that incoming. Um, let's just go for a heal here. And that back line. Five over three is lovely. You did resist. That's okay. You've got pretty high resists to bleed, to be honest, because you're skeletal. That should, I just say, that should kill the middle one, so we'll go for that. And we're getting good damage there as well. We'll go for a bonk there. Good crit and a stun. Very, very nice. This guy's going to get more stress on us. I'm not that worried about stress because I think we'll be outputting a lot of crits. And we should be keeping off the stress relatively easily here. That should be you dead. Yeah, I think it is. That's a big hit, our first one. And it pulled us forward a little bit. We'll kill you just in case you get an extra turn. I don't think you will though. Take you out. Try and get an extra healing before battle's over here. Yeah, I'm glad we got that extra healing. Beautiful. And a nice kill there as well. Okay, good, good. I think that was decent. Forsaken Trinket there. We don't need that. I'll be taking that. Thank you. And we're just looking for the shortest path to the boss, which I'm imagining is all the way up here. Oh god damn, that's a that's a lot more bleed than I was expecting it to be. I, I need to be careful about using that skill in the future. Uh these are risky, but I'll take it. Hey, that's good because we are in position one. Works for us. And here's our first shark. These things are absolutely insane. In terms of the damage that they can output, these things are are nuts. They have a lot of HP, they have a lot of prot, and they can output outrageous damage. And I mean truly outrageous damage. They can really do a number on you. He resisted that bleed as well. That's really frustrating. Yeah, this is going to be rough. This is going to be a rather a rather tough battle. Uh, I, I, I think basically, um, once it gets buffed, yeah, 60% damage versus bleeding. Yeah. Basically, we're going to focus this guy down. Because otherwise he's going to absolutely destroy our group. Sea Breeze doesn't help us there. But at least you're not stressing us out, I guess. We do need to have the um, other version to change it over. That's kind of annoying. Um, nice crit. Oops, our speed. That's a really big hit from you, wow. Let's do this. Get the stealth going. Actually bled this time. Good, good. What does that do? 
Damage, accuracy, crit, pro. Oh my fucking life. This guy's insane. Armor piercing, 17%. It's not great, but it's something. Probably want to take out the frontline guy as well so he stops dealing damage to us, anyways. Try and take you out. Good dodge there. Bit of restoration. Wow. Wow. D stealth and instantly chopped down to almost no HP. Oh, that's you dead, isn't it? Do you resisted? What's. I thought these guys were easy to bleed. Am I wrong? Was it? Is it Blight that's good against these guys? She's got restoration. She should be okay. Was I wrong to bring Bleed here? I thought Bleed was really good here. The amount of prot you've got right now is scary. Please don't go for her again. Exposed to a killing blow. Well, well, well. I knew the sharks were going to be problematic. I didn't think our first encounter would instantly get killed. That puts a damper on everything, doesn't it? Ah, oh, Beatrice. That's another healer gone. We're going to have to uh, back out of here. Well, this was an interesting group that got immediately taken care of. I, did I get the bleeding thing wrong? I must have done, right? Um, so too will resistance. I mean, we had some decent money out of this, I guess. To the brave and the foolhardy alike. Do we have any nighttime ambush uh, prevention here? No, we don't. We just back out. Well, that was uh, that was rather upsetting. Where there is no peril in the task, there can be no glory in its accomplishment. That was a very swift death. She, she's honestly Beatrice is just kind of not a good healer, so it d doesn't that doesn't help. <laughs> But that is uh, rather frustrating. Rather frustrating indeed. At least we got to keep our trinkets there. That would have been terrible if we lost our, um, our syringe and stuff. Right. Well, that's a, that's a really rough start to the episode. Really, really rough indeed. Ah. <sighs> 10% virtue chance. Two extra... Additional HP healed. Minus 25 healing received, 10% damage received. That's kind of... Eh. Okay, that's put us in an odd spot, it has. Let's put us in an odd spot. Don't really know where to go from here. Hmm. Well, let's get these guys in for some healing here. Basila, what can you do? We'll only meditate. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> that was unexpected. Okay. Guess we go for something else. Guess we go for something else. Oh, god damn it. Fall on. Bleed chance skill while stealth, accuracy while stealth, lifting damage, 20% bleed amount received. Kind of interesting. How often can the fall on go stealth, though? Does he have a stealth skill? Oh, he does have a stealth skill. Okay. Kind of interesting. We've also got this here for the damage accuracy. That's probably a pretty good one to go on, but now I've got to rebuild another group and just... Ugh. God damn it. <laughs> it's all I've got to say. God damn it. Um, bring out our wildlife. It's been a while. Um, go with you as well. Delmar will bring you. And Blackbeard's healing? How is Blackbeard's healing? Does reduce dodge, so it's a little... Not great. You've got your own self heal, right? Yeah. 
You're all about the stun, which I quite like. And we can put the reap on you as well. <sighs> Overfeeding's fine. Okay, let's uh let's let's take a little look at this then. Well, that has been a rather unfortunate start. Is everyone all leveled up here? That'd be perfect if they are. It looks like they are. Nice. Okay, let's trinket these guys up. Also, we need to look at what we're going to do with our... Um, with all of these crests and stuff. We've got so much and we've not really done anything with them yet. The bank. We're pretty close to the bank, actually. But that would be literally all of our money. Like, that, that's, a hell of, that's a hell of a lot of money. Um, but we gain gold interest per week and we get some extra stacks. Although, I don't even know if the stacks actually work. Um, but we do get an extra bit of gold per week. 3% doesn't sound like a lot, but of 50,000, that's like, what, like 1,500? What's 3% of 50,000? I don't know. Anyways. Um... 10% would be 5,000. So, yeah, it, yeah it'd, be, it'd be like 1,500. That's that's not a lot, though, is it? 50% um, loot chance. What the hell is loot chance? Is that for everyone as well? That's This is really good by the sounds of it. Okay, I've got, a, I've got a, a, a task for you guys in the comments and on Discord. Let me know which ones of these I should go for next. I'm going to scroll through them slowly... Let me know which ones are of high importance or which ones you see as being interesting. This really intrigues me. I mean, all the stats are good, but f what does 50% loot chance mean? If it means actually getting stuff from loot, that, that could be incredibly valuable. Um, some food granted free each week is nice. Food interest stacks increasing. Curio heals. Um, then we've got some class-specific ones. Again, I'm just, just going to scroll through these slowly. And we'll get to some of the other ones that aren't class-based. Go past these ones. We're not going to look at these ones. Okay, so this is a good one. Uh, bottles of blood are brewed each week. That allows us to start going down to the uh, courtyard. And we definitely need to get on with that. Uh, this is also good. All negative effects are halved. Really nice. Consume half as much food is really good too. We've got some stuff that just helps us generally in the courtyard. We've got some cost reductions here, which look rather nice. Random provisions are granted each week is good. We have nine uh, blueprints, by the way, so we have a lot that we can do here. Um, virtue chance. Yeah, and basically it'd be nice if people sort of had a little look-see and see, see things that would be um, useful. Ooh, plus two respite points seems really useful. Idle stress by another five is really good. All curios heal at least two is pretty darn good. I don't want to buy anything yet. I want to get your, your guys' say so on what sort of things we should look at. But there is some really, really good stuff in here that could be very, very useful. Default skills for each hero are enhanced. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing it wouldn't affect uh, modded heroes, though. But yeah, there's just a lot of good stuff in here. All diseases grant plus five damage. All deeper from diseases are halved. Kind of interesting. Don't think it'd affect modded ones, though, again. Yeah, you see what I mean? There's, there's, there really is... Um, there really is a lot to look at here. Special buffs when fighting each boss sounds interesting. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot to look at here, um, and a lot we can do, and I, I really want to make the most out of this. Let's uh, embark here. Um, is this the group I want to take, or do I want to take Dismiss to get some more gold? I kind of do, to be honest, but no, I'm, I'm happy with this group. What were we going to do again? I don't remember. Was it this? Yeah, it was this long mission. Okay, let's get on with it. Uh, provisions. Oop. Oh, we've not got trinkets. Good, good, good. I forgot to do trinkets. Right, so... Th this is easy. You just want absolute maximum damage, which is going to be via one of these heads. This one, yeah. And then this one. Crazy good damage. Then you can take a little bit of damage and a little bit of accuracy and damage. Then you can take your class-specific trinket we bought recently, which seems interesting. Um, 
and then something for survivability, I reckon. Have a little look, see. Yeah, let's go with that. There you go. Um, and then healing obviously goes to you. So let's go syringe and metal. Good, good. Okay, I think we're in a decent spot here. This should be all right. I'm hoping. We've got some decent healing across the board here, I think. Um, and I think we're ready to jump out and see how this goes. Let's provision up. Um, backline damage, how are we looking? I've not actually checked how we're doing on backline damage. Um, maybe I should take off one of these in, in favor of backline damage. Let's take off sap and put on um, hook and slice. Just so we've got some backline. Um, and then we do have some debuffs here. Could do some backline damage with that. Yeah, let's, let's put that back on and have some backline damage there as well, just in case we need it. Right, okay. Now let's actually provision up. So this is a long mission to the wield, so we want 24 food. We'll go with five shovels. Four of all of these, I think. I'll do three of those. Cool, and then... A full stack of those, I think. Wheel 16. I'll do... No, six. we'll just do 16. We'll, we'll take a risk. Uh, and then we'll embark. Do we have any nighttime ambush prevention? Please say we do, otherwise I'm going to have to redo all of that. Dude. Why? Why do we never have prevent nighttime ambush in... Uh, do we not have any one with prevent nighttime ambush? Are oh, we don't. I don't give a shit then. Let's just go. <laughs> it's, it's annoying, but it is what it is. Right. Let's, uh, let's embark, see how we do. On to another diary entry. Let's give it a go. Let's have a little look-see. Okay, so, we have a note in an empty home by, um, Ruckerin. I can't do it anymore. I just can't do it. My name is, was, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving this damn place. I'm sure no one of importance will see this. Probably just the captain of one of her guards. Sorry I had to abscond in the night, ma'am. I saw, I don't even really know truly what, but it was never my place to question. I didn't ask what she wanted to help, um, to help her dig up the recently fallen, nor to drag it into her home. I didn't ask uh, why she had runes on the floor, candles everywhere, or even w uh, when she wanted some of my blood. The sound, the squelching noise, the sickening orange and red light, the wails of human and inhuman watching those dead eyes flitter. Uh, flit open due to the unholy power. It's wrong. I, I, I can't take it anymore. I'm sure you will read that at some point, my lady, and I know I will never speak of the atrocities I've seen here. I don't even want the memories. I hope you do succeed, miss, to at least attempt to justify all of this madness you've become intertwined with. I only hope you do not end up as mad as your predecessor. Haha, <laughs> that's amazing. Love that. Yeah, damn. Okay, let's get let's get right into this. I'm scared considering how that last one went. But people, th this is I, I've I've long since said this. This is the point where people are gonna start dying. Like y you basically levels one through three, you're pretty chill. But as soon as you start getting to those higher levels, people are going to start dying. It's just unfortunate that we're having a lot of healers die at the moment because we do need healers. We're going to have to constantly bring more of those back on board uh, to keep ourselves afloat. But it is what it is. Um, and, and honestly, Beatrice as a class isn't a very strong healer anyways. Um, she's more of an off healer than a main healer. And that was probably my mistake for bringing her along. But uh, I want to try and level her up. Anyways, let's just see how we can do here. I'm a little worried about our ability to deal backline damage here, I'll be honest. Um, but overall, I think we should be able to kill things pretty darn quick. Um, now Delmar's got an interesting ability, as you can see here. He does this at the start, gives everyone resist, which is lovely. But also, instead of now stress healing as it used to, it now um, heals, which is kind of interesting. I wonder if it'd work with uh, one of these trinkets that heals extra. That'd be kind of interesting. Ah, bugger. A miss. Got a kill there. That's lovely. The blood quickens. Go for the bite. And a nice shot there from Black as well. Lovely. Keep moving along. Yeah, definitely a little scary after having a death. 
Luckily, a Beatrice wasn't someone that uh, the, the town was attached to too heavily, I don't think. But still, in any death, any death we come across is, is surely to uh, to shake the group's confidence a little bit. Does that have pushback on it? It does, nice. Didn't know that. Um, we'll do Stomp Out here because it does good damage and it can stun. Right, go straight kill there. Slime Smacker. Not too bad, especially on a dodge. Slime coming in there. Well, I have minus 10 quests for the, uh, for the accuracy for the quest here. I'm not quite sure why that is. Nice heal there. Ah, I was hoping he wouldn't get a chance to do this. But it is what it is. We'll trap you. Minus a dodge on you. Go for the double kill there. Lovely. Unfortunately, it does still create corpses though. But we can potentially get some bleed there, although it's unlikely and it didn't happen. Really? You can do Kinesis as well? I didn't realize you had that power. That's, that's a shame. We'll just do some sure tunes there. We'll do this to clear the body as well. Another slime smack coming in. Ooh, that's a stun there. It's unfortunate. What's your stun chance like? Okay, stun resist you have a hell of a lot, so we're not going to go for that. We'll pop that. Holy shit. Oh, dude. 30% healing received. This affects everyone. Oh, that's a really good combo, that. Okay, I've got to remember that. That's a really good combo. We can get 30% extra out of that heal if we just be a little bit, little bit patient with it. I love that. Again, the stun's not going to take here, but we do what we can. The damage we're outputting is pretty hefty. I like that. And there's the repurst. Dang, us the kill. Lovely. Ooh, that's kind of nice. 10% crit on um, on repurst. Kind of like it. Minus 10 stress as well. I think I'll try and keep the, uh, keep hold of that if I can. Trinkets and baubles. We're doing 90% of rooms here, aren't we? So we can leave that room and that room and then do the rest, I think. Uh, we'll go with this. Portraits I would like to take, so I'll ditch out that shovel we just picked up. We've got a few doggies here. Shouldn't be too hard. One hue should take them out pretty easily. As long as we don't get rabies, I'll be happy. Bit of bleed never hurt anyone. Bit of embrace the darkness never hurt anyone. So we always want to start with this. Q. Really good damage to the first one. Not quite a kill on the second, unfortunately. But that gets us the kill. And then we sanitize here, which is seven healing across the board. And, of course, the stress relief and stuff. Really good combo between these two. Let's go for a kill on you. And a stun as well. You've got low stun chance. Ah, oh, you resisted still? It's okay. Ah, oh, the dodge. You got 29 dodge. Obliterated. Not a lot of accuracy here with um, Awale here. Got that hue. He does big damage. He does big numbers, but he can miss. Right. Head our way over here. Another shovel. Not ideal, because we're running out of shovels. We don't want to be them to be a lot of those. There's not much we can do if there is, though. Um, this is tricky. Uh, get rid of the holy water for the money stack. Get rid of the medical herbs for the emeralds. Not ideal, I realise, but it's better than nothing. A scouting chance here is lovely. It's going to be very, very important. And we got rid of those. We can't grab any more food. But I think we've got enough food to be pretty healthy. I'm trying to stave off from doing any sort of camping because we really can't afford to with the uh, no prevent nighttime ambush that we have going on right now. Call to the Wield, of course. Of course, we are well aware of Call to the Wield here. You've got low bleed resist. I'll, I'll try and throw a bleed on you and pull you forward. Another Call to the Wield here. Just makes these guys an atrocious enemy to deal with. Because they've got so much prot and there's not much we can do about it. We'll go for the stuns, though, because these guys... Not a super low chance to stun, but... Eh. We didn't get it regardless. Awala's got a lot of HP here, so we don't worry about him getting hit too much. We don't want to go for the group heal just yet. 
That was probably a bad target to hit, really, there. Go for this again. There's the stun that time. Lovely. Probably go for the set up the trap. I think the trap's probably pretty valuable. Of course you did that, bastard. Really resisted that bleed? We're getting a lot of uh, unfortunate debuff failures here. It's not ideal for us at all. Yeah, five damage. They've got 70 pro. These guys are going to be an absolute nightmare. And these guys are going to keep doing calls to the wheel as well. That's the worst thing. They're going to do it more. Let's set up a trap here. 10 damage. That's a bit more like it. As the be good. Falls, Decent damage on you. Yeah, there's another call to the wheel. Up to 80% proc. Come on now, this is stupid. Okay, we'll do a heal here. Very good heal. Holy shit, that was impressive. Oh, really a dodge? Come on now. We'll sanitize for the group heal. Dude. This enemy is atrocious for us right now. Got the trap on you, and the bleed, and the stun. Oh, the whole nine yards. I love that. Really just terrible groupings of enemies here. That's huge. That's huge. Good stress heal on yourself there. Nice heal. Right there. But you go straight back in with more blight. God damn it, dude. Let me get rid of that blight. Okay, good. Your blood as well. Trap on you. A huge kick takes them both out. Lovely. This guy's stunned. We might be able to get an extra heal out here. Ah, okay. I didn't realize that's how the, that's how the trap worked. You could use it twice to activate it. Kind of interesting, though. Um, I guess we'll just leave those. Although, actually, if I get rid of 25 there, then we can do this. And oh, this is only stress relief, is it? I guess we do it on you, then. Is it just stress relief? Ah, it's just stress relief. Not ideal, but for 25 gold, it was fairly worthwhile, I'd say. Right, not a fan of our health on, um, what's his name? If only treasure could staunch the flow. Has ha Hasashi? Hasashi, I never pronounced it right, but yeah, not, not a fan of his HP right now, but we're going to alleviate that pretty soon. we got some food eaten there as well, which is kind of nice. Hopefully we don't step on any traps, but I'm, bound, I'm, sure, I'm bound, sure it's bound to happen sooner or later. What are these? For a shovel, I just can't risk it right now. We've only got three left. Not got many torches left. So there's a 750 gold. We'll take that. Good, good. We might have to camp for torchlight here. Ooh, we got one of these chained giants. These can be a little annoying, but we've dealt with them before. Uh, they've not been terrible for us. We'll try and lock this guy up. Pull him forward. Oh, as if you get the 16 crit heal. Now nah, we'll just go for this guy. Take him out. Mark. That's actually fine. I'm, I'm actually happy for him to be marked. Unchained. Buffs his damage by quite a bit. That's some good healing. Okay, we're, we're feeling a lot better now, I think. We're going to go for this, which unfortunately resists. I thought we'd maybe get through there, but sadly not. 130 versus 70 is a decent chance. We're just going to go for high damage against this guy now, though, I think. Pummel, that's that's quite the hit you've uh, put upon us there. We'll, uh, we'll chain and collar him, actually. That lowers his damage by an absolute ton. Mortality clarified in a single, single strike. 
Health is not too big of an issue as long as this guy doesn't get any big hits on us again. That's a nice big hit there. 48. I like that. Stun you. Ah, everyone's resisting at the moment. It's kind of frustrating. Set up the trap. Flight rain is annoying, but luckily these guys will resist it. And you got stunned as well because of the trap. Awesome. Rampage. Um, buffs your damage even more. Yes, baby. Another one of those crits is what we needed and it's what we got. And there's a hit there. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Citrine we're leaving behind right now. So clearly in view. Or is it a trick of the light? Take those. Right, back this way. Bandages, we can go for that. Wealth Good bit of extra measure. gold we're finding, I like that. To the brave and the Eat up. Alike. Food's still okay, we're still fine for camping, I think. But like I said, we were trying to avoid camping anyways. One battle here. We never know if we're going to get a mini boss, that's another thing we've got to be quite afraid of. If we get a mini boss, there's, there's there's some shit that could go down for us here. I'm just going to use this straight off the bat. I realise I don't have the buff, but I don't think I need it. Pop that. Try and take care of the cicada boy first. Beautiful stuff. No call to the wield for you, my, my little fella. And we'll try chain gang here. Ayy. The fact that, that succeeded is absolutely excellent. Puts us well ahead of the curve. Embrace darkness here. The stress that we're really doing fine with stress. It's more the light I'm actually worried about, I'll be honest. Ah, 19 dodge. Got that trap on you. And we'll go for a hit on you. Wow, wasn't expecting that. I gotta say, wasn't expecting that. I'm going to throw another chain gang here because it'll kill the backline and stun you. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. This time we need to actually hit. Decent damage there. Reap does some good stuff as well. And we can kick our trap at you. I love the fact that you can do that. I didn't know you could do that for a while. Um, 750 versus 500. Nah, we'll, we'll take it over the uh, one remaining thingy there. Find a bit extra money. We're two full stacks of money now. We've not got much else to go here, to be honest. We should be okay. Definitely looking at not camping, to be honest, based on the uh, situation we've got ourselves in. One thing I am worried about is just currently our lack of uh, torch light that we've got going on. We've really not got much left. We've only got two torches left, and we've got to do another three rooms, including at least three battles. That'll diminish our light pretty quick. That could lead to some problematic things. At the minute, I'll be honest, I'm expecting a mini boss. Luckily, we have good damage, so if there is one, dude, yeah, our food, our food situation is absolutely fucked now. Um, in fact, we can't even survive more than one food check now, so we definitely can't camp. I mean, technically, we can only use a minimum amount of food, but I'd rather not. So resources-wise, we probably came a bit underprepared here. We got surprised though, that's good. Get that going. Q there is awesome. Doesn't quite get a kill, but it got very close. Um, I think I'm just going to set up a trap here on any of these guys. Finish you off and hope you don't spawn a parasite. You didn't, awesome. No parasite for us, I like that. This guy's going to spawn a friend straight away, isn't he? The Shriek doesn't bother me so much. Like I said, stress is not... Yeah, I knew you were going to do Calls of the World. Stress doesn't bother me too much because we're getting a lot of crits in this build. The Lunge followed by the Trap, which adds the bleed. And I, I love the fact that that Trap does so goddamn much. It's kind of crazy. I knew another one was coming. I knew it would happen sooner or later. Go for a nice heal on yourself there. Wing slam coming in. Good, good. Glad we missed that. That's a huge hit. 
Love that. Please no parasite. Yes. Okay. Happy about that. Double stun there, nice. A decisive pummeling. Heaven and earth. More crits coming in. Please don't spawn more. Okay, good, you didn't get a chance. A lot of stuff there. Um, get rid of that for the stack of cash. And leave the rest, I think. So we got, we're all out of torches. No, no, we've got one more torch left. Not going to go for that at the moment. Oh, actually, there's a key. We can do a key. I thought it was shovel. Hey, we got under the torch. That's nice. We'll leave that deed. I fucking knew it. I knew we were going to get this goddamn guy again. He seems so common. I don't know how well equipped we are for him, I'll be honest. Because we don't have de-stealth, so that's definitely a problem. Stumble isn't very nice. That's not ideal. We'll see how this goes. This could go terribly. We might, we might lose two people here, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, I guess. Um... We'll go with that, because that's going to get rid of block and do some bleed if it lands. Unfortunately, it didn't. Here, we're going to go for this, which is scary, because it does put us in a slightly bad position for um, getting hit by stuff. All right. So far, I'm a bit scared about the fact that we've done literally zero damage, and he's basically just getting non-stop moves over and over and over again here. Dude. No. This is scary. I didn't even get rid of a block that like I thought it would. I'm trying to do this to get rid of a block. This is real bad. <laughs> this is real bad. Wait, he's stunned. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Mate, you are stunned. Do you not know what that means? Excuse me? This guy's going to end up getting hit real hard. Good th the good thing is we do a hell of a lot of damage if we can land hits. If he's still, he's still stunned. Okay, there you go. He finally actually got a real turn. I like the minus dodge. The minus dodge is helping. This is going to hurt. Yeah, I knew that was going to hurt. I think we've got this, though. He likes hitting that backline, doesn't he? I think two more turns of hitting him directly and we're, we're, we're good. Oh, dude, he moved. No, it's really not ideal. I need to knock you back. I have to. Oh, wait, no, I'll, I'll die. Now nah, I have to heal, I have to heal. Get away, birdie. More debuffs to his dodge. Protect the crops, bollocks! Oh, okay, that did damage to him still. Nice, I wasn't expecting that. That's death to door for us. Oh, no, it's not, okay. Just missed it. Yeah. <sighs> Can't do anything apart from heal here. I mean, healing's good, but this stealth lasts so goddamn long. Now what we can do there. That dodged as well. Lovely. This was my. This was my like fear. My fear was that he was going to stealth and it was going to absolutely demolish our abilities to do anything. And it very much has. It very much has. We can at least Q there. You're going to just move there.
some damage on him at least. Frog isn't doing too much for us here. Feed the soil attack just does so much damage, it's crazy. He's so close to death and he's just so annoying because I don't know when the stealth is going to end. There you go, we got him. Took some doing, but we, we, we got him. What the hell? That sounds awesome. On attack hit, chance 5% chance to do 444 damage. That sounds awesome for the leper. Um Yeah, so that's that's put us in a little bit of a rough spot. Um I think I think now I I don't know. I probably do want to camp. <laughs> Let's take a look at our camping skills. Um we have heal there. We have no healing there. No healing there. Small bit of healing there. It's not really worth it, is it? I've just got to get... This is going to be a rough gamble, but I've just got to gamble. Should have hoped this battle isn't really bad. Okay, it's not, it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Consume, I mean, that helps. <laughs> the Vower doesn't help, though. Thank God we dodged that, holy shit. Thank God we dodged that, holy shit. Impressive. Good stuff off the bat there. Get our full group heal in a second here. These dodges are so goddamn clutch right now. Double stun there, lovely. That parasite's gonna be a pain there. 14 on the person that needed it. Okay, that makes me happy. Puts us in a way better spot. But yeah, that 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 boss seems very, very common, unfortunately. Because he's a hard boss. We need to make sure we always bring D stealth this way. Because it it that's the main thing that makes him hard. Damn it, not quite a kill there. That doesn't trigger my repurse? What the hell? Oh, he actually killed that guy. Wow. He's not dead yet, but he will be soon. Is that a guaranteed stun, that? It seems to be, like... Let me check this out. It says 140, but it's never not stunned. Trying to pull him forward. Didn't quite work out. Get those bodies out of the way, they're pissing me off. Sensor coming out for a bit of blight and disease. This guy, luckily, is stunned. Oh, really? You dodged? God damn it. Like, look, it literally stuns every time. Even with that 50% stun resist, it's still stunned. You got bleeds, so you should be dead. Some stress relief there, why not? All in all, this didn't go too badly. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Might be combat in here, we gotta be prepared for that. There isn't. Wait, this isn't it? What the hell? Oh, I missed this room. Fuck. Okay, we'll go back. I thought I don't. I thought I'd got all the rooms on the way here. I had not. So there's a good chance that we get uh, food checks on the way back here. 
or that we get um, a random battle in the middle of one of the hallways we've already been through. Like a pretty good chance. So this this could be risky. This could be kind of scary. I'm going to try and head, I know it's a higher chance of a food check, head all the way back to this room here rather than fighting. Because I feel like with our current health and torchlight situations, we don't really want to be getting into combat when we can avoid it. But there is probably going to be a time coming up where a, a battle appears in one of these rooms that we've been through already and uh, causes some trouble. Luckily we can't get any uh, traps in the way back unless it's a route we haven't been through before, so we should, should be okay on that front. But I'm expecting food check to be the real thing that, that's problematic. If we get any more than one food check, it puts us in a bad spot. So far so good, but I don't want to jinx things. Yeah, there's our first food check. Any more than that one food check and we are going to be taking damage. We need, I think we need five food for this group. We've got one person that's got 100% extra food consumption. And we are heading into complete darkness any second now as well. Luckily we have this room scouted, so... Yeah, I knew it was coming. Unfortunately, 25 stress for the whole group. We could technically get another one yet. Like, we're not out of the woods yet. And now, the darkness holds dominion. Black right, that should be it. There you go. Return to Hamlet. We do have some stress healing to do now off of the back of those guys. Every clear path and charted route but we got some good stuff. Everyone up to level 4 as well. That's nice. I like it. Money-wise, I didn't earn an awful lot out of that, but it's decent. Right, quickly just uh, remove all these guys. And then take a little look. We'll start by stress. Get everyone's drinking up. See if we've got any new recruits to bring on. We do have another Vestal. Um, I am tempted by a second Vestal. Ooh, we also have a Forsaken, but they're only level 2. I really want to bring the Forsaken on board. But at the same time, I think at this point, we can't really afford to bring on any level 2s. But I really like this class, and I really want them to arrive. Maybe I'll tweak it so level 2s can't show up anymore. And speed things up a little bit for us. Uh, but yeah, I don't know about the Vestal. We'll, we'll see about that. Trinkets wise, we've not got, not got anything crazy good there. Um, and yeah, basically it's just next time going into our districts. Let me know what you think we should grab. Um, and let's just get into our last uh, diary entry here. We got uh, one from Meme Police um, for the Duchess as entry two. Pen test. Vixen was sitting on a bench by a statue in the center of the hamlet. She was advised to write down everything that happened to her and all her thoughts in case her memory deteriorates. After all, the resurrection of an individual who has retained his memory and sanity is a rare thing, but it is better to be prepared for any consequences. Vixen reluctantly agreed to keep records, and the day after her first hike, she began recording thoughts about everything that happened to her. Note 1. Not so long ago, I was born again. Lady Basilla promised me a guarantee that I would live without a strong thirst for blood, and I would serve in, ex in her exchange. Unfortunately, when I was in the dungeon and talked to her, we didn't discuss um, when I could take revenge on her and her servants. In any case, it's a matter of time and I'll try and convince the heirs to send me to the courtyard. Yesterday I went to the wasteland with Lady Basilla, a strange baby who I heard called the Little One and an on uh, ornental woman with a spear and shield named Renetta. Uh, we went to explore the trails in search of a rare sword which can be easily handled even by someone that has never held a weapon in his hands. It's extremely useful for training the recruits. On the way, we were ambushed by a scarecrow of the scythe which sent curses um, to Basilla and wanted to kill her. The ghost of her ancestors' mistakes, I suppose. Fortunately, we managed to drive away the spirit without any problem. The little one makes me nervous. He is as tall as a child while wielding, wielding his spear as if he has been studying it all of his life. He remains something of a semi-insect from the courtyard. I hope my inspiration, uh, sorry, my impression is deceive, um, deceptive and he is not connected with them. Um, the kid is extremely curious, which is why it was problematic for Basila to look for prey, because little one overtakes her and inspects everything first. It's a shame that he sometimes fell into the trap because of this. About Renetta, I have no questions about her spear possession. I'm delighted, but these snakes that appear out of nowhere after a rest stop, 
It reminds me of the dream I had just before waking up in the grave. While she was thinking where to end her thoughts, she turned around and began to look I turned around and began to look around. It seemed to her that someone was watching her, but as soon as she looked around, she saw nothing suspicious. I hope it's not my paranoia, and I'm just imagining that I was being watched, said Vixen in a whisper. Then closed her notebook and walked towards the chambers for her peace of mind. She decided it was better to finish writing in private. Indeed, but yeah, very good run. Um, obviously, yet another person in the graveyard. It is a shame that is four so far. But, as I said, it is getting more and more likely that people will end up heading to the grave. It's just a shame that we've got three healers in the grave so far. We're getting low on healers. We're going to have to start taking a few more on board. But yeah, what I'll do is I'll edit the uh, the stagecoach so that only level three is and higher enter the stagecoach from now on. Um, and we can just keep moving on from there. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.